Hi everyone, welcome to Sandy La Pastelera. I'm Sandy. I have a nice and easy recipe for you today. It's a very traditional flatbread from India and of course from here South Africa. Today we are going to be making rotis. Rotis date back to more than 5,000 years ago from the Indus Valley civilization. To make rotis you will need 254 grams of white bread flour. And I'm going to do my own version because I'm going to use a tablespoon of olive oil but you can use ghee or butter or you can even make it without fat. You will also need one teaspoon of salt and 180 milliliters of boiling water. So let's start the process. We are going to make our rotis by hand. Pour the flour on top of the table, make a hole in the middle, add salt around the flour, add one tablespoon of olive oil in the center, add boiling water and you can start mixing your dough. If you don't want to make your dough by hand, you can make it in a mixer. Once we have added our extra water into the dough, we are going to keep kneading our dough for 5 to 10 minutes until it's soft and easy to handle. Traditionally, the main ingredient is atta flour, that is wholemeal wheat flour. But because I'm doing my own version, I'm using white bread flour. For the next step, you are going to need a cloth to cover your dough and leave it to rest for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, we are going to remove our cloth and we are going to divide our dough in small portions. If you want to be more precise, you can use a scale to weigh them. I'm going to cut them by hand like this one. After we finish cutting our dough, we are going to roll them into little balls. Grab the pieces and roll them like this. All of them. We have finished rolling our balls, so we are going to make a line like this. You're going to cover them and you're going to start from the first one that you roll and go like this until the last one. To roll the balls, you are going to need a rolling pin and more flour. Add the flour to the table. Add your first ball. Add more flour on top and make a circle. Turn it and make a circle. Add more flour. And like that, our first roti is ready. Once we have finished rolling our first roti, we are going to heat our pan and we are going to cook the rotis. Turn on your flame, wait until your pan is hot. In the meantime, keep rolling your rotis. Our pan is ready, like you see here. Add your roti. You don't need to add any fat. You just need a pan like this one and then it will cook. Our roti is ready. Put it on a cloth and cover so it stays warm. Let's add another roti. Flip it over. Normally rotis are cooked on a tandoori, but if you don't have a tandoori, you can use a non-stick pan like this one. You just need to keep your temperature high. Did you know that the difference between rotis and naan is that rotis don't have yeast and naan have yeast? I have finished to cook all my rotis and voila, this is how they look. We can cut one so you can see how they look inside. They are nice and warm like this. And the best part about making rotis is that you can enjoy them with a nice steaming hot curry. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Try the recipe at home and let me know what you think. Bye.